All right, everybody, welcome live on Facebook. Uh, James Campbell here with Integrity Marketing Solutions. And uh, we just wrapped up our big client event called Revenue on Command last week. Uh, had some fantastic law firms in. And we had some key takeaways. One of those key takeaways was the concept of pitching and catching, or active versus passive marketing. We're going to get into it a little bit deeper here, find out why passive marketing has been the go-to for so many people, the most utilized form of marketing, but what you can do with passive. And this is uh, Revenue on Command. So here we go. guys. So like I was saying earlier, this just, just, just this past week, we wrapped up a, 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 our big annual event we titled Revenue on Command. It was really about helping our clients who are already have that digital foundation. How can they actually be active with their marketing? How can they take command of their revenue and, and implement these new strategies, these new ways of thinking to help scale their business? And there were a bunch of key takeaways, but today we're going to focus on one that got repeated over and over. You know, when we finished our event, uh, we were kind of wrapping up and we all met together, our team and our clients, and just kind of did a debrief of what were some of those things that you can take back to your office right now and apply and start doing things to grow. And this theme of pitching and catching came up multiple times amongst our clients. And so we're going to kind of get into to what that is. In fact, I made some notes here. So it's going to kind of read through some of my notes to help myself stay on track here, guys. Um, for many lawyers, driving revenue means generating more professional referrals, hoping to meet a referral partner that will throw them new business, right? And if a prospect is tossed their way, the attorney is ready to catch. Okay, this is kind of the concept there. More tech-savvy attorneys have maybe built a website, done some SEO, for ad, maybe paid for ads on, on Google, right? Um, if, a pros if the search engines happen to toss the attorney a client or a prospect, the attorney is ready to catch. Again, uh, they're hoping that maybe the internet can just lob in some to their website, right? That that's what's going to be how they manage their digital. In my 15 years of working with estate planning attorneys, I found that relying on passive marketing or catching is the, the overwhelmingly utilized method. It's where everybody tends to go, especially in estate planning. And don't get me wrong, you, you know, you have to be able to catch. If, you, if, if clients are thrown your way and you're not able to catch them, then you're in big trouble, right? Um, however, there are, as we found during our workshop, there are lots of reasons that prohibit us from catching, right? And I, I use reasons with the air quotes because most of the time it, it, it comes from fear. You know, fear of being seen as uh, pushy, um, being fear of, I uh, just have this being a failure, right? Of like putting yourself out there and actively going after your, your own business and then failing at that, that can be a, a big fear or just a fear of wasting time or just not knowing, just the unknown, right? Of knowing what to do to actively go after prospects. So we kind of like that safe feeling of passive marketing, right? I just need to be a good, I just need to do a good job, right? If I do a good job and do good work, the clients that need my services will find me, right? And, and pitching looks scary. I mean, all the eyes are on the person throwing the ball. But what we talked about at our Revenue on Command workshop is that the pitcher is actually in control. The pitcher decides where that new client will land. And so one of the, the points that was made was, if you're not in your own starting rotation, you need to go talk to the manager, right? You should be out there actively building your practice, generating your own revenue, and not just waiting for people to bring it to you. Now, um, to take command of your, of your revenue and scale your law firm, it just really means you guys, you can't refer, rely on somebody else to throw you business, okay? So what are some examples of catching or passive marketing? Uh, passive marketing is waiting for business to come your way. Someone has to be actively looking for your service. And then, they have to, then you're hoping that they find you, right? This would include referral marketing. 
hoping that the allied professional has a client that's looking for your service and they will throw you that client. And a website that's really focused on search engine optimization, being found on the search engines, that's actually passive as well, you guys. That means somebody is going online, specifically looking for your services and your SEO, your search engine optimization, your website ranking, you're hoping that will catch those people actively looking, okay? Now, pitching, on the other hand, or active marketing, is essentially interrupting the attention of pre-selected people to ask them if they need some help, or if they're worried about a specific thing, or if they've ever thought about this problem, right? Um, and then in that same time, you're offering help or you're offering some sort of healing to that pain, to that problem, some sort of solution that you've already identified, that you know these people need your help. You've helped them many times in the past. In fact, you enjoy helping with them. You understand the things that bother them, the things that they're going through, the primary motivators, and then you interrupt their day with a message. That's actively marketing, okay? Um, a great example of this would be maybe creating a, a webinar, okay? And then creating a Facebook ad to that webinar. Now, who would that webinar be for? Well, let's say that you're in um, Omaha, Nebraska, right? And you deal a lot with farmers and ranchers. And you know their business and you know their issues and you know their struggles and you know what keeps them up at night. Well, maybe your webinar is focused on those issues specifically, right? And then your Facebook ad is focused on those people. Not too difficult to target those farmers and ranchers through Facebook. It's actually one of the easier things to do. But that would be where you're interrupting their day. You're interrupting their newsfeed to say, hey, you might have this problem. If you do, I've got the solution. Another form of pitching would be email marketing. And the same principles apply here, guys. It's recognizing who, those specific, what, who is that specific audience. What are their needs? What are the things that they care about? But then also, what is your offer? How can you help them? What is your solution? When you understand what those two things are and you're able to take the data that you have using the internet, right, to bring that into focus, well, now you can start actively marketing, both with email, with Facebook advertising. There's many ways with your video production. Uh, again, Facebook Live, a little bit of an interruption for people, right? This would be one of those active models where I've gone out and invited people uh, to attend or to watch or to watch the replay of this, of this, of this video. Right? So these are ideas and concepts based around catching and pitching, active versus, versus passive marketing. Now, I will tell you, it takes a combination of both. You have to have that digital foundation. You know, the, 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 the passive pieces of marketing, they have to be there. Okay? This would include your website, um, great SEO, obviously. Your blog, you should be blogging every day. Okay? Uh, your social media marketing, posting on social media, being active there every day. These kind of make up the foundational pieces of your marketing. This is the passive marketing, okay, outbound marketing to referral sources. You still want to generate referrals. We still want to get great referrals, but we don't want to be 100% dependent upon those. Okay, We want to go after our own clients. Who do we enjoy working with? Where are we the most profitable? Where do we have the most fun? Right? Where do we get the most fulfillment and joy out of the job that we do? Let's fill our calendars with those things. The great thing about the internet is we, we do have a choice. We can make those things. There, there are no great limiters on you because you want to, are an attorney, right? Now, you still have to follow the ethics rules. You still have to follow the, the procedures of being an attorney. But you can be active. You don't have to solely rely on passive. And to be honest with you, if you're an entrepreneur, if you see yourself first as a business owner and then as an attorney, and you're looking at ways of scaling up, being active and starting to pitch is one of your key art weapons in your arsenal. You just have to break it out and get into it, okay? So if you're, if you're interested, if you have this desire to grow your practice and you, you see the fact that you're maybe being all passive in your marketing and ready to start doing some active things, or maybe even a step further back than that, your passive marketing is still hurting, right? You, you haven't even got the foundation laid yet. You're not ready for the active stuff. Give us a call. Book a call on our schedule. Talk with one of our enrollment coaches. Um, go back through, watch our videos. Try to get yourself prepared and committed to take that next step to grow your practice. And pitching it needs to be a, a part of that strategy.
you've got to be in your own starting rotation. I, I love that concept of get out there and help yourself grow your business. So that's what we have to, for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. I hope that you enjoyed these concepts about how to grow your practice. If you do, I'd love to hear from where you're at. So if you could comment below, tell us where, you're, where you are. Um, what experiences have you had with active marketing? Are you doing that? What struggles do you have with it? Are you doing a great job on passive marketing? I'd love to hear your, your, your ideas and your questions and your comments um, down below. Always be sure to subscribe, either right here on Facebook or um, join our group, The Art of Growing Your Law Firm. That's a great group specifically for attorneys uh, of all types. Um, other than that, hope you've enjoyed Revenue on Command. I'm James Campbell signing off, and we will see you next time. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.